Hello and welcome to an emergency episode of Self Care Sundays. It's not Sunday, it is a Tuesday, but um, this came to me yesterday to do this video. Uh, this is gonna be no frills. I don't even know if I'm gonna put a backtrack of music on it. Um, hopefully this is going up in a little while. I was looking for my watch and it wasn't there. Um, so I just wanted to check in on the self care front as we are beginning the first days and weeks of the Trump administration and all of its bullshit. Um, I've had multiple people contact me or I've contacted, contacted multiple friends, family members, um, and been on different social media outlets just coming together in a time where a lot of people um, feel the need to, uh, to gather and, and give one another support. Um, so I definitely wanted to first point out that today is the last day to register for healthcare in the healthcare marketplace. I personally have healthcare through the healthcare marketplace. Um, I had to call a lot of doctors to get an appointment um, because all of them are booked out for I don't know how many months for whatever reason, but I have healthcare and I'm grateful for that. I pay a pretty penny for it and I registered for it back in November and paid for it when the year began, whatever, whatever. The Trump administration pulled about $50 million worth of already paid advertisements for uh, reminders for citizens to sign up for healthcare in the healthcare marketplace or with their um, healthcare provider through their workplace or whatever. The ads have since been released, but uh, I believe the figure was, please don't quote me on this, I'm pretty sure at NPR, the number was 600,000 people registered for healthcare on the last day last year in the healthcare marketplace. Um, so it's definitely important. Uh, and also, if you didn't have healthcare for any portion of last year, like myself, there is an exemption process that you can go for, go through if you need to avoid the tax penalty uh, for the shared cost uh, that has been implemented through the Affordable Care Act. So now that that is over with, sign up for healthcare if you need it. Um, the Women's March after the inauguration was fantastic and it was great to see people coming together and I think protesting and being with people of like mind and coming together to have conversations and blow off steam is important and also to show our faces and our numbers and um, show that we not only turned out at the polls and voted a majority against who is our leader now, but also that we are actively protesting uh, it every day. And um, I wanted to take some time to it's like give appreciation and recognition to that happening, and also to to uh, give anyone who needed it permission to take a pause. Um, it is important that we stay active in what we're doing uh, to make sure that the rights of American citizens or people that want to rightfully come here, whether it be immigrants, uh, people who have partial or dual citizenship or what have you, um, that they can come in and out of the country safely. All of those things that are important and donating to people like the uh, Civil Liberties Union, the uh, ACLU, who had a great uh, victory in this last week with the Muslim band and um, standing behind people. Uh, so on the self-care front, uh, I am personally taking measures to unplug when I need to listen to something besides the news. Um, I listen to accurate news, I listen to NPR, and I found that they're pretty accurate. So uh, I also take some days off to not start my day listening to that on the radio. Um, I have self-care chats, so uh, phone a friend, start a group chat, um, whatever it may be, and if you're not phoning a friend, phone your local representatives and make sure that they're representing uh, your interests. Uh, whatever it may be that is important to you that this administration is blocking or um, squashing or uh, preventing or is, is set to prevent, um, just take some time to do that if that helps you blow off some steam and um, get rest, take care of yourself in this time because we have to rest but not stop. This is something that's going to be a very, very long four years. Um, if it goes on that long. Uh, so I just want to encourage everybody to take a moment to give yourself some care, to uh, free your mind and relax. Meditate if you meditate, drink a cup of tea, uh, take a nap, um, 
don't engage in conversation that is going to infuriate you. It is not necessary that you engage people that you don't agree with in conversation. Unless it is actively changing something in that moment, you need not stress yourself out in that manner when you can go and actively do something to counteract what this administration is doing and, and what the current state of America is. If you feel like someone you work with or someone that you interact with or someone in your family you need to have a conversation with but it's going to infuriate you, just don't. Don't do it until you're prepared. Just don't. Okay? So, um, another thing I wanted to um, share with you all that I've done personally that has uh, kind of helped me, not just on the self-care front, but just in the realm of information. Um, we see a lot of things on the internet and online. Please, 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 in being active, if you consider yourself an activist or a person that wants to um, be part of change at this time, and you're doing that through sharing information on the internet or wherever it may be, check what you're sharing first. Um, number one, for your peace of mind, <laughs> so that you don't get driven crazy with something that's completely inaccurate as far as news goes. But um, if you share a link of an article, read it all the way through. Don't just share stuff that you pretty much don't know anything about. Read it all the way through, check the sources, see what their other work looks like. Make sure that you are not pushing the agenda of someone who doesn't necessarily have you in mind um, as far as their good graces go. So yeah, re it, it is important that we're careful with the information that we share. Um, we take time to become active. You can log on to womensmarch.com. I'll leave links down for the ACLU, womensmarch.com, NPR, all in the um, description box below. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just womensmarch.com. They have a list of actions that you can do every 10 days. So protesting is great, but we still need action. We still need to call local representatives and vote in local and state elections. And as a, in addition to federal elections, we need to um, give time and funds if we have it to people who are active in the fight, whether it be a group of lawyers who is who are at an airport defending immigrants that want to come into the country, whether it's the ACLU, whether it's an accurate news source, whether it's Planned Parenthood, um, whatever it may be. <laughs> the link is actually just womensmarch.com and they have uh, different actions that you can use. There's resources, stuff about the march, and um, so the first action is to write a postcard to your senators about what matters most to you. Um, so you can get cards even from the website and so on and so forth. Which you can print at home or you can print at a FedEx locally or Star uh, Staples or what have you. So yeah, basically sign up for healthcare, take some time for, take, sign up for healthcare if you want to um, or, or need to at this time. I hope this was a reminder for anyone who needed it. Um, take some time for yourself to relax and not engage people in stupid ass conversation about dumb shit. Um, get active instead. Uh, support those who are in the fight uh, in the right manner and uh, take care of yourselves as best you can. I just wanted to do that for a few minutes. I hope this wasn't too long. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!